Um, FSD camera upgrades. So a uh, little little news broke about Tesla upgrading some cameras for FSD folks for free. Uh, this is not the new and exciting hardware for cameras, which have already leaked and we know are coming probably next year. So those are going to be those sexy new five megapixel cameras. Um, so these are still the current, uh, you know, 1.3 megapixel, whatever they are, cameras today. Um, but it looks like some folks that had older hardware and had upgraded, had done like the hardware two to three upgrades and things like that. Um, Tesla's now offering to replace their cameras. Uh, and the expectation is that they'll then be able to get into FSD beta because there's a number of folks that have been in the program signed up that aren't actually in beta, most likely because their cameras are too old. Uh, so anyway, I thought that was pretty exciting. What, what do you what do you think about that, Mike? Are you surprised <laughs> that they're doing this? Why do you think they're upgrading now? Like, what's the? I, I I think you're you're correct that you've got older hardware that people need to upgrade. I mean, the original cameras were like 1.3 megapixels. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty poor resolution compared to what they're doing now. The upgrade cameras are five for hardware four. Mm -hmm. You know, pretty significant update. Um, Those will be nice. But it's it's interesting because I I just replaced the two side marker cameras on my car for light leakage issues, and even though they're the same gen of camera, the new ones I put on are a better quality. They they changed something on the camera, so I can only imagine what the the new shiny new 4.0 hardware is going to be like. Yeah, I mean new cameras are always nice. Um, it'll be interesting to see you know where that whether they end up, but I'm glad to see at least. Tesla is continuing this concept of upgrading. So we have more evidence that they are willing to upgrade and retrofit folks that have FSD. Um, so that's probably why they're jacking up the prices. <laughs> um, I wonder if, you know, it maybe looks like we might be getting a, a wider rollout soon as, as Elon has mentioned in the past. Um, but I don't know, uh, you know, cause if they, if they upgrade these folks cameras, you know, maybe it'll make the wider rollout more, you know, easier to do. Um, is that the only thing that is uh, lagging on those uh, vehicles? I yeah, I mean, well, I, I think the primary thing when That's it comes to question. right, like they, they upgrade folks to hardware three, right? So you have the new uh, MCUs, you have the new uh, FSD computers. Um, so I think the the camera sensors are probably the main. The but main I can't thing. imagine that they change the cameras behind the glass. Like that would be pretty expensive. So what what specific cameras are we talking about? Just side the repeater cameras or the side, or the side marker? I'm not sure. Like no one's posted saying these are the cameras they replaced yet. Um, so all we know of is that it's probably the ones that we've seen, like the side cameras um, and the you know because we know that they can swap those out pretty easily. Yeah, um, those are the only ones I think are are easy to swap maybe the tail I, but uh yeah, well, besides the, the, that the pillar the pillar ones aren't going to be easy you yeah take the behind the glass apart, yeah. and the ones behind it, the glass on the windshield it'll be interesting to see if hardware four if they actually do upgrade all those cameras or not right i would i would imagine that they should if they're really going for higher megapixels and wanting better resolution but maybe not maybe they don't need it from those cameras um hmm. but i, I don't know I, can't imagine that they would i mean i'd like them to like for me who has a 2018 <laughs> so, model three but uh right yeah i kind of so the, the, the I'll cameras i put in place are actually out of a model y 2022 mm -hmm. and what i've got now is i've got clearer picture you know during the day and i've got a much better picture at night when they crank up the gain to to kind of compensate for the low light so, so there's less noise as you're saying yeah yeah Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I kind of wish that also if they're changing cameras that they would, you know, give us some, a true color, you know, something that's meant for humans to look at. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> good I mean, if, you, if you're doing all that and give us that bird's eye view, uh, you know, you're, you're kind of stuck in that bird's eye view, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? It, Why not be possible. feature parody with uh, like everybody else? <laughs> it's it's possible we may get the bird's eye view in the future, right? Because at this mm -hmm. point, it's mostly a software thing. Um, but yeah, so I, I could see next year with hardware four, maybe they. We're they gonna see Doug Tesla with a camera duct tape to the top of the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe, especially if they're I, are they gonna, especially if they disable my uh, my ultrasonic sensors, uh, right? You know, <laughs> I want that. Well, yeah, Amin brings up a good point. He said, goal one is AI for FSD. 
Goal two is hardware that can see through any weather condition. Last weekend, it rained so bad that the Model Y autopilot disabled due to visibility. I, I, I just had that. I mean, it wasn't rain. I'm, I'm so glad you brought that up. I had dew on the car, and I went and pulled out of the driveway, and the first thing is I lost the right side camera because of obstructions, which was all the dew on the side of the car. Yeah, I mean, vision's great when it works, but it can't see through things in the way. I, I had mine shut off on me this week. I did a lot of driving with FSD this week because we had a big work event in Austin and the uh, it worked great most of the time, but I did have one point where it started drizzling a little bit and I was surprised FSD kept going. And then all of a sudden I was like, nope, disengaged you to weather. I was like, darn it. Oh, oh. Um, but what's funny is it within a few minutes after that, like I no longer, like it seemed to be getting better. I was able to turn it right back on. So yeah, I only lost a few minutes, but can can you imagine with snow? You know, yeah, the snow builds up on the lens, and now you're kind of no, stuck because I mean, iced over. That's, that's you know, I've never had that issue. I, I think that front uh, camera is heated or something. Uh, even when I look at my car, like you know, parked and it's covered in snow, there'll be a little window, a little window cut out. <laughs> yeah, a little window from, uh, but, and it might be unintentional. It might just be that that unit gets hot when you have, uh, you know. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, sentry mode on, and that just right. kind of has a side effect. But uh, <laughs> they probably do heat it, especially so it doesn't fog up. Right. Yeah. So DW said uh, or asked the question: Will all new manufactured cars have these new cameras? I'm waiting for my VIN number for his YLR, uh, which is due in December. So the cameras that are being installed today, these upgrades, are the cameras that are already being installed in cars today. So your car would have these cameras. Um, when we're talking about the hardware four cameras, um, it has been rumored, it did drop that um, suppliers are already shipping the hardware four cameras yeah. to Tesla. The question of what, when those what will show up that, in the vehicles, we have no idea. Yeah, um, no proof. And no so proof it'll basically just be a cutover where one date suddenly those cars going forward will have hardware four cameras. It's possible Tesla may only put them in the Cybertruck, right? They may mm -hmm. not even put them in the S or the oh, Y. Or now now you're just being mean. I, I mean, you, know, you <laughs> never, you never know, right? Like that, they may. That, that's what's been, you know, rumor that the the Cybertruck will be delivered with with hardware four. I'm curious about the semi. Like, has there been any word of what sort of Thomas features are available for the semi? I haven't or, seen anything specific. Yeah, haven't heard a yeah. thing. I mean, it sounds and, like waiting for a lawsuit kind of thing. Uh, well, I, I know the cyber truck that gets in a. Uh, so the semi you know, was approved for sale. You know, they they came through and they approved it for sale now, but I haven't heard anything about the feature set. 